Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooke's Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video I am going to tell you guys about the lip rash that almost ruined my life and how I finally healed it completely. This video is not going to be a quick fix. There is no magical cream that I am going to recommend to you guys. Instead, I can tell you with complete confidence that if you actually take the advice that I'm going to offer you in this video, you are going to start seeing results with your lip rash immediately. So I'm gonna go ahead and put up some pictures right now on the screen and you guys can start checking out just how nasty this rash used to be on my lip. I had this rash for years. I wanna say it probably was developed around seven years ago and I only cleared it within this last year. So if you guys are looking at these right now, you're probably ready to jump on that comment section and diagnose me with eczema, psoriasis, contact dermatitis, perioral dermatitis, colitis, any number of different little rashes that can show up on your lip area and your face. And I am not gonna disagree with you guys. I definitely think that it was either a combination of those things or one of those things specifically. And if you are currently suffering with a lip rash as severe as the one that I just showed you guys, you're probably scouring the internet right now searching for any number of ways to heal this problem. So you've probably been fooled into buying expensive creams. You should comment below right now and like this video if you guys too have been fooled into trying to treat it with Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream, La Roche-Posay Psychoplast Cream, Cortisone, any kind of steroid cream. Aquaphor was a huge one that got recommended to me, didn't do anything. And so then from there, I started to go into like, well, maybe I need to take a more natural approach. So you guys, I started putting plain old fashioned raw coconut oil onto my lip directly every single day, multiple times a day. And the problem just exploded and got way, way worse. And then from there, when that didn't work, I was like, let me try another natural method. So I was brewing green tea bags and then taking the actual tea bags and laying them on my lips for like 30 minutes at a time to see if it could heal it. It was just, there were no answers, nothing ever worked for me, and there were no shortage of silly solutions that were causing me more headaches. I even went as far as to change all of my lipsticks to natural products, so I used a lot of Bite Beauty back in the day. I would go to Earth Fair and health food stores and try to pick up any natural lipsticks that they had on hand, and just to no avail, I could not get rid of this problem. And that did not change until I, one day on the internet, stumbled across something called fungal acne. Now, if I'm about to lose you, I want you to hold on, watch for a couple more minutes because fungal acne is not necessarily going to mean that you have a face full of breakouts all over and you're looking crazy. In fact, fungal acne is not true acne at all. It's actually just a rash caused by a fungus called Malassezia furfur that lives on your skin. And if you're suffering from this, you might not even have the little bumps on your skin. That little yeast is also the nasty little booger responsible for eczema, psoriasis, contact dermatitis, seborrheic dermatitis, you name it. And that, my friends, is where the answer lies. So are you guys ready for the big secret that is going to take this scaly, flaky, disgusting rash off of your lip once and for all? Drum roll, please. The only thing you have to do is to quit using products that contain ingredients that feed the Malassezia furfur yeast. It is literally that simple. I know that I said that it was really simple and you're probably thinking in your mind, oh my gosh, how would I ever manage figuring out which ingredients are causing me the problems? Well, I'm going to answer that for you as well by giving you three steps right now that you can take today to start working on this problem. And make sure you guys stay tuned to the very end because at the end as a bonus, I'm also going to share with you guys a couple of my favorite lipsticks that actually will not irritate this problem for you. So the very first step is that you need to keep an open mind and be ready for some big change in your life. You're gonna have to break up with a lot of your products and I understand because I was in the same boat. You have spent hundreds if not thousands of dollars on these products. In fact, if you guys want to right now, you can check out the video that I'm gonna link here, which is me going through all my products to find out just how harmful they were and also how much money I wasted on products that were ruining my skin. So the second step is the most practical step and you can start doing this right now. 
All you need to do to check your ingredients is actually go to one of these handy dandy websites that some beautiful creatures out there in this world created for us. So sazia.co is my personal favorite and all you need to do to use it is go and grab a list of the ingredients and copy it and paste it into their fact checker and it is going to give you a list of all the harmful ingredients in that product. If it doesn't contain any, it comes back clear. However, as a side note, these things are not without error, so make sure that you guys read the instructions of how to input the information properly. You have to have commas and specific formatting to make sure that it checks every ingredient just perfectly. If you don't wanna go through all the trouble of fact checking your products and you just wanna find out what products you actually can use right now, I have got you covered as well. All you need to do is click the link in the down bar below and it'll take you to a place where you can download my free shopping list for both Walmart and Target. And those lists contain both skincare and makeup products that are completely fungal acne safe so you can get started on your journey as soon as possible. Step three is the easiest concept, but it's often the hardest one to do. You actually need to commit to this process. Commit to using products that are completely safe for your skin. Commit to getting rid of those old products. If you don't wanna throw them in the trash, give them to a friend who doesn't have this problem. There is no harm in doing that. I can promise you guys that when you start seeing results within just a couple of days, you're not gonna be missing that NARS Sheer Glow Foundation or any of the products that no longer work for your skin. And for the first time in your life, you're actually going to be using products that do what they say they're supposed to, and your skin is going to act the way it's supposed to because it's so much healthier. All right, so if you have made it to this point, great job. I am now going to share my lipstick recommendations as promised. All right, so the first product that I have for you guys is the Maybelline New York Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lip. They look like this, and these are the most affordable and versatile products out there. They are a matte lipstick, they go on with such ease, and they have so many color options. In fact, these are just six of the colors that I have right here, and they also come out with new collections pretty frequently. And then the second product that I have to share with you guys are the Flesh Beauty Liquid Matte Lipsticks, and I will link exactly which ones they are below. I can't remember the name because they name everything a little bit differently around there, but this red one is the color Brazen, and this pinky nude color is the color bluff this red color brazen is my all-time favorite red i literally wear it in all seasons it truly is universally flattering on all skin tones and i just can't get enough so if you want to know more about fungal acne safe makeup i'm going to link a couple of my videos right now for you and you can also check out all my posts on brooksbeautybazaar.com i have tons more resources so you should also press the subscribe button so you won't miss anything going on over here and i also hang out on instagram every day at brooksbeautybazaar so come say hi over over there.